spirit of the game. We're live. All right, welcome. Thank you, studios here, the streams of Sparrow DD game. I'm Benito Sinensi as the DM. You have uh, everyone you saw in the intro. I think on the video, we get the youth here. But Matt's playing Aleski, Rico's playing uh, Ju. Ju. Uh, Jake's playing Larian, Lee is playing HK, and John is playing Spoke. Uh, a recap of what went on. Uh, the party uh, finally tracked and hunted down the green hat. However, she tempted them with the offers of possibly finding greater evil than herself. Uh, the party was not having anything to do with that, but um, had left her alone with Aleski, and she used that at, uh, minor damage that she got from Aleski to escape. They did burn the hag's house down and uh, give her no place to do her evil bidding, they hope, or at least temporarily slow her down, until they got to the town of Greenwood, where they were uh, left by uh, their friends, um, Trevor and Zyara. Uh, they had a good time, made their way around the town, heard about a lot of rumors going on, apparently found out about an archlich son who's raising armies and looking to do much evil in the land, and had decided that they are going to part to forbid in stopping uh, that from happening and looking to find information about that. So, well, by doing so, uh, they now have uh, searched some things out and with some lo and behold maps and picked up some uh, um, information. They also picked up a friend and um, uh, Pepper, she's a ranger, she's gonna help track them to the area where they believe that some of the incidences are happening with a possible uh, a dock area and a werewolf uh, in tow. Uh, but as things got all uh, settled in, they had stayed at the bloated boar and things were all good. They woke up to the sounds of screams in the street as uh, the townspeople are calling for um, uh, mayor. trouble because um, there has been a murder and the mayor has apparently been the victim, excuse me, of the uh, murder. So when we get together, you guys are all going to be, be uh, pretty much coming out of your rooms. Uh, to the towns of the town and uh, some uh, disarray from what's going on. So uh, it'll be up to you guys to tell me what you're doing. Telling you to quickly burn that map he bought of the mayor's house. <laughs> I'm giving it to HK. <laughs> <laughs> That's not no, a good thing. Not a good thing to have right now. <laughs> yeah. Probably not, but I'm going to hang on to it just in case we need it for potential help for this investigation. Great. <laughs> I, I suspect somebody is using the fact that we did purchase it as a smoke screen uh, for their deeds. Uh, it'll certainly come back to us very quickly that we have it. Well, if that's the case, then there's only one person outside of our group that knows that we purchased it, and that's the uh, shopkeeper herself. All right, I remind you guys are all upstairs at the, in the, uh, the top of the hallway of the loaded, in, uh, loaded board uh, speaking. Um, just to let you guys know where you guys are, unless you guys all want to go in somebody's room. Yeah, we should probably, if we're going to talk, we should probably go in a room. Yeah, we, we can go in a room. Or, you know, go find out what's going on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lee looks like he's got war paint on. <laughs> All right, so you are in. G he's uh, he's muted if he thinks he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like he was talking. <laughs> himself. Right, he's he's I will I will ask my familiar Stimson to to stay invisible in the hallway and uh, watch for anyone approaching our door. Um, he can inform me that that's happening telepathically if he does. All right, so basically what we've got is we show up to town, we bounce around, we're asking a lot of questions, we go buy a bunch of maps, we hunker down for the night, wake up the next morning, the mayor's dead. We did consider talking to the mayor. Yeah. Um, who did we mention that to? Only the shop... The uh, the map maker and the owner of the general store suggested maybe talking to him. And we mentioned so, it to the ranger that was. I mean, Pepper. we could go. 
we can go, and by we, one or two of us can go and investigate what's happening and see what we can hear. I'm thinking, Spoke, you're a little bit uh, quieter than the rest of us. I was about to say, um, I'll I'll head up investigation if anyone else wants to come with. Uh, well, HK can't go. I mean, there's no yeah. quiet with him. There's a bull in the china shop if you were to go down there. I can be um, very quiet, and I have never been in a china shop. I can go you're with seven, him. I'm subtle. Yeah, but you're seven feet tall. <laughs> I am the shorter of my of my uh, line. That is true. Yeah. The runt of the litter. Yeah, that, that's not going to help us. Um, I used to call you shrimp. But let's no, see, why don't you go yeah, no. with Spoke? Because you have the familiar that could also perhaps um, gather some info. I'd say if you guys can kind of work your way down to the town square and and see what you can hear, the three of us will stay right. here. I'm, and I'm pretty good plan. at investigating stuff. One might say uh, a PI, a private investigator, wizard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not to talk game stats, but pretty good. <laughs> uh, whoever wants to come with is welcome. Um, I'm going. I'm gonna go down without armor, just in my plain clothes. Um, Your birthday case... suit? No, not that. <laughs> 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 We're gonna uh, be, just in case I need to draw change. attention. <laughs> okay, but we don't we don't want we don't want too many people going down. So you know, kind of spread down. out a little bit so you're not too obvious. All right, Valerian, you going down? And Alefty, the three of you. Well, I think my my talents would be best used to actually yeah. talk to the people. Um, I may also be able to return the mayor's life to him depending upon how he died undead mayor i'm oh, i'm guessing no. it wasn't peacefully in his sleep no i'm sorry i can't <laughs> he's been dead too long i'm sure now that i think about it it probably happened while we were sleeping and which is yeah i, I just, doubt it's and just discovered recently <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's. I'm assuming at least five to six Unle hours. Minimum. Unless the person, unless the person who said it was in on it, and he wasn't even dead yet. Jacob, are you going downstairs with us? For yeah, I'll go with him. Okay. Unless, unless you guys want me to stay behind with these guys and have Alexi go. Well, no, Alexi's got the ability to to talk to the regular folk and, and pull information, you know. You're right. There's no way I could talk to regular folk. <laughs> Not unless you're hitting on them. Beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> they are beneath me. <laughs> okay, well, let's head out then. I'm just trying not to go uh, down uh, as a large party so we don't make too much of a racket. Spoken Alarian, there's already a commotion going on downstairs. Uh, there are apparently... Three guards, and very smaller uh, guards, apparently has some type of emblem of some um, authority thing, possibly a badge of some sort. But they, uh, the, one of the guards has seized um, Kristen, and uh, you can overhear uh, the sheriff saying, which is a halfling, going, Oh, Kristen, I don't understand why you did it. I don't get it. I know there's been things rough with you, but damn girl. Killing the mayor. That's just no good. I can't believe you did it. Now you're going to have to hang for this girl. What do you guys like to do? I'm going to have to step in. Okay. <laughs> One of the guards put his hand up uh, out to you going, uh, sorry, this is uh, uh, I, Well, I, I could hear what was going on and, you know, I'd have to step in and let you know that there's no way she could have done it. What the, the sheriff goes, What do you mean? The uh, secretary, uh, Gina, she saw her walk right in. She was up oh, uh, with the uh, with the mayor all night. I'm sorry, she was with somebody else all night. And you were well, worried about my map. Gina knows Kristen. She's been there plenty of times. She was there well, that night. How are you? It talking? was. It wasn't. It was all. It was only one night, but I've been there plenty of times as well. 
Please rephrase that. She was with me all night. <laughs> what? She can't, you're telling me Kristen was with you? And she goes, oh, yes. I was with Larry. I was with Larry. We had a, night, a, a great night together. Well, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm sorry. You're a stranger. I can vouch for her. Uh, Gina's been with us. I'll see there. I, there were other... Honest. I have a, a companion that could that could also witness what happened, and there were other patrons in the bar that you know oh, really? saw that we were together and at the end of the night. But my companion could also attest that she was with, with me. I'm pretty sure I saw him with her at the bar last wow. night. I'm pretty sure I was one of the people who saw. Well, I can. Mm. I, I, I don't can attest. Kristen, Gina. Saw Kristen going in last night, and that's what I that's my information that I have. I'm gonna have to take I'll take her into custody. This is what there I'm and believe it happened. She can't be in two places at once. That's just not happening. But if you can there, tell me where the real killer is, then there must have been some out. sort of then maybe we can uh, you know, resolve her of this of this crime. But under, until then, I don't see how it's possible. There it must have been some that. sort of some sort of glamour or something like that fooled your friend. I mean, Gina, there's many I'm ways sure. to fool a witness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's. It could have been. There's many explanations of why she could have made a mistake. Was it? It must have been late at night. For. From the time frame, she may have been tired. I said it was Carol Baskin, you know, Something Carol. that just distracted her. We do know that there's a, a green um, hag in the area, and, and hags are known to be able to take the form of other people to the point that you couldn't distinguish them. Green hags? What? What? Who are you people, anyways? This is not. Uh, oh, I assure I you, call. it is not nonsense. Inside check, please. Oh, shit. Anyone who's down here trying to talk to the sheriff and start. Everyone inside? Wisdom. What can we see from the window 13. of our room? 15. 7. 15. Less than 7 spoke. 7. Okay. So HK in the background... Pretty much what you are observing is uh, that the sheriff is a good-hearted man, but you kind of get the essence. You've seen this in some of your old military backgrounds that uh, um, he's over his head. Like he just—he's not—he's a, a simple guy. And anything that you've experienced, uh, transformations, things like that, uh, polymorphing, anything of that sort, seen that. It's not his—you know. This is a backcut town. So what you're trying to come with resolving him is just too much for his his mind to scope. He's a if, if I may, officer, sir. The law, so. His usual crimes are who stole a pie off old lady Jenkins' window sill. But, but HK is the only one who can <laughs> that. that yeah. uh, if I may, sir, I know this is a bit unusual. Everybody else is still trying to solve. My friends and I have traveled the world. We have seen many things. We have saved many towns from these dangers. We are well storied for our efforts. And I will let my friend, uh, uh, my other friends talk more about what we have done at a later point. The truth of the matter is there are things beyond what you normally see that can happen. The things that sometimes happen in the far, in the far off lands, in the dark of the wood, towards the coast, if you will, towards the water if you will, those things that are out there sometimes sneak in and encroach in. Among them, there are things that can change their form. We believe this to be the case. Kristen was most truly with my friend. As I stood guard, you can tell by how I look, I am not one that rests. I stood guard outside his, his quarters. She went in, she did not return until, she did not leave until the morning. I can truly attest that she's here. I understand where you come from. In my home city, I served in many of similar capacities. 
in Madrone, we are made to protect and to serve. And that is what I do here. I promise you, you can trust the words of my, my companions and you can trust the word of this young lady. If she says she did not do it, she did not. HK, give me a persuasion check with a badge. Oh, hi. Hi, Doug. Oh, ah. Can't one second. Doug, go. Go lay down. That was so good. He shouldn't even have to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, this guy is simple. He could have problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that speech just tied his brain in a knot. And he's like, okay. <laughs> cool. yeah, I gave him advantage. That was a Rich, that was a Rick Grimes level speech. <laughs> hey, what was it called? Oh, I, get, I see it now. Okay, he goes, he looks around at each of you and goes, <clears throat> all right, all right. I've heard of the war for just from the parties. I get it. All right, if there's something about this town, I definitely don't want it about. And I've known Kristen a long time, and I can't believe it, uh, that as well. So I'm going to take her at a word, and I'm going to take you good folks as well. You look like a pretty respectable man. And he points to both uh, Alarian, and then he looks at you, Jew. And goes, all right, I'm going to deputize you for the town. You're going to help me find this killer so we can resolve her of this crime, and we make sure this guy, this killer, gets out of my town, right? We will stop him. You want I'm to go check board. the crime scene? And he gives you like a, a he gives you each um kind of like a badge, and this will get you past anyone who asks you what's going on. Like I said, you got about twenty four hours to twenty four hours found this, this this killer, so we can definitely be on. I don't want him killing again. He's killing a night. There's always going to be a ticking clock, <laughs> right? God damn! I look like right. Jack. I'm still Ballard. gonna take her into my in the town. Just for protection and custody. And ask for more questions. All right. Um, the guards escort us out. Definitely not as forcefully. Very gently. They retire. They just ask you to go there so they can basically talk to her. So you guys now are free to figure out what happened. So definitely keep an eye on her in case you know there are two of her running around. We got to make sure uh, we, we should, get the right one. We should talk to this Gina girl. Um, who yeah. says she saw Christine with the mayor? Yeah, we got to find out what uh, what was going on with her. Good we idea. should also check to see if Christina has even a sibling that might be mistaken for her in the dark. Uh, she's now yeah, with should... the sheriff. She just got taken. <coughs> uh, we should talk to Christina too. Um, More if she questions talked... and protection. To the town. If she talked to like anybody who was shady that day or anything, we should have somebody talking to Christina too, just in case she ran into a changeling or something who like got uh, her image. You mean Kristen? Oh, Kristen, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, you pretty much have her timeline down. She was serving you guys for most of the day. Only when you guys went out and did shopping, when you came back, she was still serving until she, her shift ended. And someone just spoke up that she was with her with him all night with uh hk confirming that situation so she apparently didn't see anybody else there is another server here um you may you talk to her she's watched she watched this whole affair as well as the um, owner and the uh the bar. Right. um should we split up to uh try to maximize our timeline Sounds like a good idea. I think we obviously right. need to check the scene of the crime. Yep. Alexi, Did, you want to go with me it, to the uh, start on the crime scene? Was it only me and Jew that got the badges, or did everybody get one? Yes. Nope, only you two. Okay. So one of us has to be, we, we have to be separate. Yeah. So, so each I'll, group has somebody with the badge. I'll go with Alexi. We'll start off at the crime scene. Uh, Aleron, you take Spoke and HK and start questioning here, and then we can meet up at the crime scene once you guys got some more answers. And kind of regroup from there. Excellent. But, uh, if we've only got 24 hours, I don't want that crime scene getting colder than it already is. Yeah. I can try. So, so Lexi and I are going to make our way... Yeah. Toward the uh, somebody, 
Somebody killed the mayor. The mayor's house. They put him on ice. Wow. Human life to the mayor? <laughs> Cue a oh, huge song. A huge song. Uh, well, wow. we'll take, to keep it 3 3, we'll take Pepper with us. Right. <laughs> what are the other three doing? Alarian, what is your crew doing? Uh, we're going to go. We're, de we're definitely going to go. Who should we talk to? Um, uh, definitely. I, th I feel like Gina should be our first. Um, first yeah, that's going to be our first shot. See exactly what she saw when, how the circumstances came that she said she saw Chris in. Mm -hmm. Any clues that we can get from her. All right. So you all pretty much are going to go to the same place. Yeah. So that was all at the townhouse. Okay. Um. Oh, we're all ending up in the same place anyways? Is that what you said? <laughs> Why am I'm I even planning that. things? Well, Gina is the mayor's secretary, so it's it would make sense that she's well, in the location. She, yeah. Well, she but, might be home or someplace yeah, else. Oh. You can check the actual oh. crime scene whilst we uh, look, look in other locations within the mansion. Well, you can and split. You can go to the crime scene and just do two different jobs at the scene. Like one, you can check what's yeah. going on, and the others could be with Gene. Okay, so you guys will get to the, the house. There's a couple of guards going on, obviously. Um, you, um, downstairs is pretty much a like uh, you know a large room. There's a couple side. Apparently, there's an office that's right close to the opening door. Uh, that's where uh, there's another guard there, and then you see a uh, a lady there. She's a uh, middle middle age, um, brown hair, uh, uh, hair tied up, glasses uh, there, and then there's stairs that apparently lead up, um, which you're assuming is where the office is. That's where one of the guards will mutter to you that the crime scene, the mayor's and the mayor's office body is still all upstairs. Okay. So. We should. Okay. Was the mayor? Murdered in his office? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to look for clues in there as who, if there's any, you know, something, any clues that would give away who would have a grudge with him or might want to murder him. There might be oh. some paperwork on his desk or something uh, that would give away. Basically, goes to those, uh, the guards usually patrol around the town, he goes. Uh, there are only, uh, Six guards and the sheriff, so we don't guard everything. It's a very backwater town. I'll comb through his office very carefully. I'm sure we'll turn up any clues that are available. Okay. I'm going to reference the map, too, to see if there's any um, extra passages that lead to this office that um, are not visible, but might be on the map or the blueprints or whatever you want to call it. Uh, both of you give me uh, investigation checks, please. Uh, that plus one. 13. Ooh, sweet. 21. 21. Okay. Uh, you guys get up to the top of the stairs. There's another guard up there. Uh, he nods to you as you guys show him. Badge passing through. He goes, he's a little perplexed, but he nods anyways. Apparently, he may not be that surprised. Um, the body is lying in a... Uh, it's got a thing draped over him. He apparently was on like a love seat. Uh, there's a desk uh, there. It looks like he might have been working on something. Um, there's a bottle of uh, brandy, also two glasses. I'm not there. Um, there <laughs> and um, and uh, pretty much that's that's the part where you see. Do you glasses do as in glasses or glasses as in glasses drinking? Glasses and drinking glasses. Um, brandy bottle. Brandy bottle. There is a, there are there are glasses nearby. Uh, as you see, um, the, there is nothing that you find on the on the map that you were given that shows that anything secret, passage wise, stuff like that. Everything on the map is actually accurate. It seems to be very simple. Um, bathroom. 
room, closet, the office, then the stairs leading up and down. There's not a whole lot to it. There is a bedroom that's off to the thing as well. Uh, that is ajar. Um, it does not look like it was used during the night. Um, again, the body's on the love seat, and it's got a uh, cloth Bruiser raid. Over it where blood is seeping from a wound that what looks like What is up, everybody? Region. Hello, hello. Um, Aleska, you, with your investigation kind of pouring over, uh, he looks like I he was doing tax ledgers from the, from the citizens of the town. Hope your stream went well, Bruiser. From there. He doesn't look like there's anything else and look to be anything strange that would be unnormal from a mayor to be doing as a business um propose, proposition for so to speak um there are coins uh, in the drawer which uh you can see they're stacked so he was also not robbed so it was definitely a direct murder attempt not a robbery oh, about the kids though. so he was doing tax ledger so he was bored to death <laughs> oh. so we have multiple glasses you guys can think about that uh, we're investigating a murder of the mayor right Unless now. You have, if you have a question, type it to me. I'll try to work. Guys, so you guys are downstairs. Gina is obviously, uh, she's been sitting at her desk with an, the other guard. Uh, she's hysterically, uh, she wears glasses, but she's, uh, she's got tears. Um, she has a number of tissue, those type of things around her. She's been crying apparently all morning. Um, People with glasses can cry too, Ben. Uh, glasses don't <laughs> preclude you from it. <laughs> she's, probably, know, she's been continuously crying. She's definitely, definitely. Juice, but a double raid. Uh, oh, actually, good. Actually, want you to because actually that'll be probably Hello. Be your first motives to that. Hello, juice boxers. And bruisers, so, yeah. welcome everybody. Thank you for stopping in. Thirteen. Thirteen. We are in the middle of a D and D adventure, uh, investigating the murder of the town mayor. Ten. Ten. Okay. Um, you don't get too deep. I mean, you haven't never really dealt probably on an emotion, uh, highly emotional level. This, she's definitely seen. You know, generally shooken up. She does seem like she was close. So if it was false, she's probably the best actress she possibly would know um, if she's faking it. But to you guys, she feels pretty genuine that she's relatively upset about this entire um, situation that has, that has come to I am sorry for your loss. Clearly, your Is mayor's protection detail role? was not sufficient to the task. <laughs> How many would there normally be posted overnight? Who are you? I am. I'm HK. I'm here to help find who did this. Oh, oh, um, oh, Gina, ma'am, we're with the sheriff. We're special consultants, uh, detectives, if you will. Juice box. We should have a As you can see, for he, uh, you know, a D20 by my role. badge. We've been kind of uh, like a magic eight ball. You know, taking on uh, the job of trying to figure out exactly what happened here. Oh, how many guards? We don't have. We've never had something like this before. No one's ever killed here. There's only six guards in the town. Uh, uh, uh Paul, Sam, Jeremy, William, uh, Diane, and Lonnie. Uh, they don't stay here. They just they wander around town here and there. Uh, they're mostly at the Worm Club because sometimes there's fights over there. But we've never had anyone killed here in the town. Not in years. You probably have a better idea I, than I do, Juice Box. You got an old farm. We got uh, you know, um, Sam, Salmon. He got. He was. Mall pretty bad and killed back on a bear on his farm once, but that's the worst we've ever had in Greenwood. Nothing like what were the names? I, I don't understand what's going on. Why would I want to kill people? So, so sweet. I take a deep breath, Gina. I understand it's can be it's very traumatic, you know, but Wait. we need Wait. your help to try to figure this out. As you were, you said you saw something last night so we need you to kind of take us back to last night the walk butler with back. the candlestick you know to bring yourself back to what what oh, were you doing oh, what were you doing last night I, I, was, I was just doing all the extra information notes from all the farm crops and stuff keeping in all the stuff that pierre has me do i think pierre's always been such a such a ladies man charming all the girls around he's always had christian here before it's a very a very off and on relationship because christian just wants to be you know, it's not anyone with any, you know, power or anything. She's very snobbish and, and shallow in that part. 
But, you know, she never hated him, I guess. And he's, he's the mayor. And, but it was just kind of weird because, I don't know, he's a gnome and stuff. So it was very weird possibilities, I guess. I'm not judging about things so, like that. I don't know. The I mean, mayor's a gnome? She was here last night. So when and, you... And, and she left. And then I, I didn't think anything different has happened before. And then I swear, I swear, I went in this morning because he always likes his tea. And that's when I found his book. <laughs> So, when you when you said that she's come here before, does she usually speak with you? You know, greetings, any pleasantry, small talk. Did she when you saw her last yeah, night? No, was she, she making any? Did she say anything too? When you saw her last night, though, did she say? Was it the same kind of pleasantries as usual, or was it different? No, I say she. I guess she was kind of offish i guess yeah she just nodded to me she usually does you know a little bit of a high because you know because she's going with the mayor and stuff and she likes to kind of hold so, up more, but yeah yeah it was, was kind of odd she she didn't she just kind of nodded at me and then just went upstairs and oh uh, so she usually so you didn't hear Charlie, her voice I just uh, to see her hair go by which, so is is hair all you saw was she trying to be secretive last night Usually, when she comes here, it seems like she would flaunt it because no, she was proud of well, no, she her status. Her. Last yeah. night, last night, she let you see her, or you just saw her hair okay, and just I, I thought saw... the shape and form. She she nodded to me to make sure I saw. Her. Yeah, maybe even slowed down the steps when she made a nod, but she didn't really say a lot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, she deliberately wanted you to see that without saying hi that it was her. Yeah. Yeah. How how often is she, how often is she coming here? Oh, she, they have a fancy every couple of weeks, maybe. I mean, is it a regular intervals? A lot of lady, especially if she's no, Okay. No. Is it? So it's been a couple of weeks, but it's usually a couple of weeks in between, or yeah, this they one was. On an off relationship, it's like I said, she she wants a knight to come in and take her away to a big castle. But Pierre utilized that because he's the mayor. It's a very strained relationship, but it was never going to mean anything. Pierre, like, I take advantage of people every once in a while, but he's really a good guy. I just don't understand why he would want to kill him. Okay, so it seems kind of odd that she didn't talk to you if she talks to you every time and she was quiet um that seems that seems odd or you know what okay, what around what time was it you guys up at the uh well i, I guess it was around she probably was about 10 o'clock it was it was pretty much after everything was getting wrapped up and you know after it was about his brandy hour 